Hi friends, I'm Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to discuss about the Helmut Schmidt Scholarship Program. And this is program for essentially doing master's degrees in Germany. And this is specially developed for international students from developing countries. So let's look at some aspects of this program. Now, one of the interesting things about this program is that in contrast to many other programs, this is open to people mostly in the social sciences area, social sciences, political sciences, humanities, law, economics, public administration, and so on. And you are required to have a bachelor's degree in any of these disciplines. So let's discuss more about this program and how you can use it to do a master's degree in Germany without paying any money. So this degree is essentially going to be completely free to you. So essentially, this is a totally funded master's degree program at top universities in Germany. And the stipend is about 950 euros per month. You get health insurance coverage. You get money for traveling to Germany and back to your home country. And if you have a spouse and or children, the scholarship pays some money for their upkeep and their stay in Germany also. Now, one of the interesting things about this scholarship is that there is a German language course for six months, which you take before you start this program. So essentially, this is very useful for people in the social sciences, humanities and so on, because as you know, these disciplines are highly related to language and therefore knowing German language is certainly going to help you to penetrate the German system and make the most of this program. So now, like I said, this is a master's program. This can be done for two years or one year period. And there are several universities which are selected by DAAD each year for administering the program or for giving out this program. So these universities keep changing. I will put a link in my comment section below and I will pin it and you can go there and see the universities. So the interesting thing about this program is the course language is in English. So this is certainly going to help most of the people who do not know German to a very high level. And the subjects which you can study are development and governance, public policy, peace and conflict studies, management in nonprofits, developmental studies, social protection, governance and public policy, public management and so on. So you see that a lot of these programs have to do with improving the public systems and infrastructure in any country and why this is being targeted to developing countries is because the German government wants these countries to develop the infrastructure required and the systems and organizations required to actually improve their quality of governance and move to a developed country status over the long run. Now as an example of some of these countries and this is a short list you have Turkey, Moldova, Morocco, Pakistan, Nigeria, Bangladesh, India, Vietnam, Philippines, Lebanon, China, and many more. So you can see that all the developing countries around the world are typically included in this program. So the interesting thing here in this program is, of course, as I mentioned before, the English language being used to teach all these subjects and this is very important because most of the people around the world are familiar with the English language. Now let us look at the application procedure for this particular scholarship. So essentially you have to fill the application form in the DAD website. You have to write a motivation letter and this letter is very important because the motivation letter sets out why you want to go to a particular university and why you want to do a particular program. So in the application, you can choose two universities and two programs. So essentially, you need to make a case how your background fits into some of these programs and how the program can actually be used to help your home country when you come back to your home country. So essentially, these kind of scholarship presume that you are going to take advantage of all this knowledge you have gained in the German master's degree program and then go back to your home country and help in its growth and development. Now, what else is required? You require your CV, the curriculum vitae, you require your degrees, you require transcript copies of any mark sheets you have obtained and so on. You require to show some English language proficiency, letters of references from some people who know you. So these may be professors in your bachelor's degree and also some certificate of employment. Now, remember at this point that 
you may not have done formal employment somewhere though it may always be useful to have one year of employment under your belt but you should focus on the internships you have done so like i have mentioned in some of my previous videos if you are a bachelor's degree student don't just focus on theoretical knowledge which you have gained at your university keep on the lookout for various internship possibilities these internships may be in companies they may also be non-profits non-profits are a great source of internship they may not pay you mon money or they may not pay you a lot of money but you can get a lot of experience in such places and such experience is very useful for scholarships such as the helmut schmidt scholarship which is essentially focusing on topics related to public goods and public administration so any kind of certificate of employment you obtain from any of these people will also be very useful now like i mentioned before the requirement is that you have a bachelor's degree and the degree should be done less than six years ago so essentially this is the timeline which is limiting you so again there is a lot of leeway here you may have done a bs degree you may have been working in some non-profit or in some governmental organization or in some company or in some university and you can still apply for this particular fellowship so keep that in mind now the preferred bachelor's degrees are in social sciences political sciences law economics public administration and so on and the typical deadline for the application date is at the end of july each year so this was my take on the dad helmut schmidt scholarship so many of the scholarships like you know are there for people in the sciences and all but this essentially is for people in the social sciences humanities and public administration so keep that in mind it's for the master's program so you can take advantage of this it pays you a decent amount almost 950 euro per month and because it pays health insurance travel and all this it will certainly take care of the expenses which you have in traveling to germany doing your studies and then coming back so again remember that all these dad processes application forms applications are free so it's not like applying to many universities around the world view where you have to pay a pretty high application fee so there is no problem if you are applying for this fellowship so do not be shy do not be diffident about applying to such fellowships so i will end this video here and i will see you in a video sometime soon see you then